Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to test your gauge in the car uh, using some resistors like in the list here below and uh, without doing any adjustments or having to use a, uh, a ohm meter or anything like that. Uh, I have a missed a little bit of information here. You should be careful uh, when performing this testing, hooking the wires up incorrectly could result in burns and wiring damage. So just have to be careful. As you'll see when I do the testing, uh, it's not too very hard to do. You just have to go through the steps like I do it. Alright, we're looking at my Baja here. I've got a little uh, bit of a bigger tank. It's a 12 gallon tank, but it works the same as a standard beetle and it's got a standard beetle type sending unit in it. I've hooked up a, a, a ground wire just for grins to show you what you can do if you think you have a grounding problem with your sender. So what I'm going to be doing is using, we're just going to do R a quarter and a half in this test and uh, what I'm going to do is disconnect. The power is off on the car, uh, the ignition key. So I'm going to disconnect the uh, sender wire. Okay, sender wire is disconnected and kind of put it on the paper like that for being a little bit safer. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up a wire by wire right here. Hold on just a moment. Okay, I've got my wire hooked up uh, there and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the other leg of that up to my half tank resistor. It's a 5 watt uh, uh, 21 ohm, yeah, 20 ohm resistor, and so then the other wire, I'm going to hook up to the other side, just like that. Okay, so I have them both hooked up, got the ground wire coming in here, going to the resistor and back out, and that bypasses the sending unit. It has the resistance of a half a tank. So I'm going to pause here and we'll go in and get in the car and turn the key on and see what happens. Okay. So we can, I haven't turned the key on right now. Uh, this is a, a stock OEM gauge with a vibrator on it. Okay. Here goes the key. You can see it climbing up there. And it went right to exactly a half a tank, which is kind of unbelievable, but it really does work. You can hear my electric fuel pump running. Okay, I'm going to turn the key off. Okay. So that proved that the half tank was working and the calibration on the gauge is really good. So I'm going to disconnect this resistor and I'll go to a quarter of a tank. Hard to do with this one hand just to show you. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, quarter of a tank uh, resistor on there next. Okay, I've got it on there and you need to make sure that the alligator clips are holding on there really good. All right. So now we'll pause it and I'll go get in the car and we'll see what it does. Okay. All right. Here we go. See if it goes to a quarter of a tank. Pumps on. There we are. Perfect. Got a good vibrator and. Uh, a good gauge here. It's all a 1969 type uh, gauge and regulator there, or vibrator. 
Next, we'll do the uh, uh, reserve. Okay, now we're getting ready to do the reserve. And just want to make sure that you know that you got to turn that key off. You just don't want to make a mistake and leave it on. Okay, I'm going to pause here and, and put the reserve resistor on there. Okay, I've got the reserve resistor on there. So we're going to go get in the car and see what it does. Okay, turning on my key. Here we go. All right, pretty close to the R mark there. So in this testing, I would be very comfortable with knowing that my uh, gauge and vibrator is in pretty good shape. I tur turned the key off. Okay, I've uh, just got a comment here. Uh, the resistors are not the exact values for uh, the various levels, they're within a couple of ohms, and that's just fine for this kind of testing. And even your regular sending units are not going to be that close. So now I'm going to do a, a full and empty test just with this uh, OEM video sender just to show you that you can actually do that also out of the car before you put it into the car just to make sure. Okay, pausing. Okay, I've taken those same two wires and uh, just moved them from the resistors over to the sender unit. I just grounded it right here. I put the negative there and the positive lead there. Uh, sorry about the color differences. I just, I'm not cautious about that for what I'm doing. And I've got the, the uh, fuel sender arm all the way up to full. So we'll see how that looks inside the car with the key on. Okay, here we go. Keys on. And full tank. All right. Be sure and turn that key off. Alright, one last thing. If you suspect that you're having a grounding problem and you're doing this testing, you can take this lead that I put right here, because you know how it's reading, and then you can put it on another grounding point. Uh, I use the, the uh, ground wire. Let's see if you can see that there. The ground wire for the... Uh, turn signals down here. I just hook on there and do the same test just to see if there's a difference. And if there is, you might have a grounding problem on your tank. But I've got pretty good tie downs on my tank here. As you can see, everything's all bolted down really good. Anyway, so I, I hope that helps you guys. And uh, uh, those resistors are kind of hard to come by, so for a while I probably will have a batch of those that if you send me a little uh, cash, I can send uh, resistors to you. Uh, okay, so thanks for watching.